Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite dishes that I've been uh, eating since I was a child, and which is a Katrika Pounder Peratel, which is brinjal, which is uh, tossed in garlic and some South Indian spices. I'm going to walk you through all the ingredients that I have. Really simple and delicious to uh, taste as well. So I have some brinjal here, small brinjal, which I've chopped and soaked in water and kept. So when you chop brinjal, ensure that you actually soak it in water uh, so that it doesn't turn black because you have to prep up the remaining ingredients. And also what it does is when you soak the brinjal in water, it absorbs some moisture. And when you're actually cooking it in the pan, you don't add water when you're cooking it in the pan. So there is some amount of moisture which is, uh, the brinjal is absorbed and that will help the brinjal soften and also cook. And then I have my perindayam, which is also known as a hing or the asafoetida. And I always believe in using a really high quality perindayam, which is a hing. And uh, this one is great because it doesn't have Arabic gum in it. And, um, and hence the reason it's really strong. And you add a pinch or two and then you'll have great flavors coming into your sabzi. And then some onions, which you can be sliced, some chopped tomatoes, curry leaves, important ingredient, and lots of pundir which is the garlic also known as the lesson and then some mustard uh, split udad dal and some sambar powder so now that's um, essentially a versatile powder this is a homemade sambar powder that i've ground with all the you know ingredients are nicely roasted and freshly ground so it's got it's bursting with flavors if you wish you can actually make a fresh sambar powder just for this and then add it um, and uh, the recipe is there on my website and i'll share it with you great so just going to dive right in and then cook everything in a single pan and then walk you through how you can make a delicious uh, katrika sabzi. Now I have my pan preheated and into this I'm going to drizzle in some oil. So now into this oil I'm going to add in the mustard seeds, the split udad dal and allow these ingredients to roast until uh, the udad dal becomes nice and crisp and golden brown. that the udad dal is turned nice golden brown. At this stage, I'm going to add in my uh, hing or the perindayam. And notice the small shaker bottle. It, it really helps me add just a pinch and it brings in a lot of flavors. I'm going to add a little extra because I have a good quantity of hing and maybe a few pinches and into the oil and then allow it to just uh, rest in the oil for a few seconds. And once it does, I'm going to go ahead and add in my sliced garlic, which is the pundi. and um, and then the onions. And some red chilies, broken red chilies. I'm just going to break them out. And some curry leaves. We'll just tear the curry leaves in. So when you actually add, tear the herbs in, it brings, in, brings out a lot more taste and flavor to the dish. And notice the flavors of curry leaves. I can already smell it coming through. Great. So now I'm going to keep the heat to low and stir fry the garlic and the onions until the onions soften. Uh, you don't want it to caramelize, but just uh, turn soft. Um, this will take about a couple of minutes. And once it's done, I'm going to add in the tomatoes and all the remaining ingredients. Okay, notice the onions are slightly softened. They might be just a little bit raw, but that's absolutely okay because I'm going to be adding the tomatoes and then also the brinjal and they're all going to get cooked together and then the onions will soften in the process. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my chopped tomatoes and um, also going to add in the sambar powder at this stage. And then my brinjal which I which is soaking in some salted water. And finally, some salt to taste. Some turmeric powder. And just a dash of red chilli powder because the sambar powder already has some chilli in it. So just a little bit for that additional spice. So give it all a stir and cover the pan and allow the brinjal to cook along with the garlic and the onion all the masalas until the brinjal has softened. Uh, and in between, continue to keep stirring it in between. Maybe sprinkle a little bit of water or drizzle a little extra oil. Um, I typically like to add a little more oil towards the end once the brinjal is softened. 
so it gives it a nice taste and texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover the pan and allow the brinjal to cook and soften. Um, this will take about 5 to 10 minutes based on and the quantity as well as the softness of the brinjal. Great, so I kept stirring the brinjal in between. I also drizzled a little extra oil so that it gets that extra moisture and notice that it's perfectly cooked. Uh, the brinjals are nice and soft and all the masalas have absorbed well and I can smell the flavors of garlic and sambar powder. I gave it a taste, it was just brilliant. Great, so now the dish is done and I'm just gonna go ahead and serve it and let tell you how you can serve it in just a bit. That's it. This is how delicious that this looks. And you know what? When I was a kid, what I used to do is to all tell my mom, I just want some hot steamed rice. I used to top it along with some ghee and mix this ponder peritel, which is binjol and garlic stir fry, uh, along with the rice and just savor it just like that. Uh, you can also make some hot sambar along with this or a ponder rasam, um, well, or even a more karamba that for that matter, or a hot curry and it goes really well with some rice, sambar or rasam or even a hot curry or a more karamba and it makes a perfect Sunday lunch or even a weeknight dinner. Do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'll always be looking to hear back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.